In Friends for Health news, submitted by Your Northern Neighbors, spending time with friends is one of the best things you can do for your health. I agree. Unless your friends are toxic, then you need to run away. Yeah. Mental health. Oh. No, mm -hmm. physical or, health too. Physical health. Yep. So if I got a clue, oh, I mean, I got a cold. Oh, if I got a cold. <laughs> Did you say cold and flu? He said, yeah. <laughs> Clue. <laughs> you haven't got a clue. It was a cold and a flu. Just so you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. If I got a clue. I love the confidence. If I have a clue. <laughs> I wanted to say both and it both came out. <laughs> yeah, you did it. All right, so this, they're, this article here, they're talking about how like the complete opposite of spending time with your friends would be social isolation. And that is linked to higher rates of chronic diseases and mental health conditions. And it may even, mm -hmm catalyze cellular level changes that promote chronic inflammation and suppress immunity. So it actually has physical um, effects to your body if you are socially isolated. But what if all my friends have the clue and then they get me sick? <laughs> That's a really good question. True. Yep. You don't want the clues. No, but you're, you'll have higher immunity though. Oh, uh, so I'll get it and then we'll all get it together but then we'll get rid of it. Well, together. you won't even yeah. get it because your immunity is higher. Yeah, your so your friend right. could be trying to pass the clue on and you won't get it. What if the you're clue, it sounds like the clap. Huh? What, if you're, what, what if you're an introvert and so, social situations stress you out? That's me, sick. dude. See, I know. That's my wife. Yeah, so they're saying like, you know, throughout a long period of time, if you have social anxiety and stuff, then if you are removing yourself from social situations because of that anxiety, you will have health problems. Whoa. It probably yeah. depends on each person's uh, amount that they need to feel whole. So like introverts, maybe they need like some good quality time with one or two of their really close friends yeah. and then- but That's not social yeah. isolation because you're still right. socializing. Right, so. but then, then extroverts probably need like novelty and something different with a lot of people or whatever. So it's just, you just gotta get out the damn house is what they're saying and, and laugh with people face to face. Cause like me and Joe, it recharges us to be around people. Yeah. But then like, yeah, like Gio or Nikki, it's like- It's, it's like, so oh, draining. You get you tired. Stressful, me too. <laughs> You do? Sam, yeah, a you lot. Get, you get tired? Not tired, just like I get like tired of speaking and just like yeah. VidCon or something, conventions, oh, yeah. that, like two days after I can't be around oh, people. Yeah, when people are stupid, that's yeah. tired. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I like it because it turns, there's a level of like, they're so stupid that it's funny. Mm. And then there's like, so low, like you guys are like, like the dirt of the earth that I love being here because mm -hmm. it's such good material. Oh, that's an extrovert as fuck. But it, yeah, it doesn't bother me, right? But then like, there is that boredom level of like, oh, these people are not stimulating to be around because all they do is like, drink and talk about the same shit every week. Yeah, I don't think we hang out with any of those people. Because it drives me nuts, yeah. yeah. No, like this, like this morning, I was in line at the gas station and I watched a man paying $100 for scratchers tickets, but he kept on changing his mind about which one he wanted. And I could have waited there all day because it was so fascinating. He's like, give me the wheel one. And that's like Wheel of Fortune. He's yeah. like, give me the wheel one. And he's like, oh wait, hold on. I didn't know you guys had to pick, pick them 12, oh shit. And he's like looking at all of them, reading the back and shit. And I was like, take your time. This is amazing. I love that shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, no. I'd be fucking- I would've been irritated. Yeah, like, yeah. fuck, oh my God, I need to leave. How long do you think you you three can stay away from people before you start feeling lonely? Um, am I away from him, in your question? Yeah, like a completely alone. alone. Completely. I do, me. I really do. Um, Away from him, it would be at least a day. But then if at he's- At most a day. At most, yeah, at most, sorry, at most a day. But then if he's, if he is with me and then all of you guys, I would say maybe a month. <laughs> oh, nice. Aww. Yeah. Maybe oh, yours is longer? A night? No. Oh. I, I can be, I'm fine without people, but I need to see people. Like I don't, I can't, when I lived alone, like I hated it. Mm. Cause I never got to see anyone. Yeah. And then I like do my videos and it's like I work by myself. So I like, I need to see people at some mm. point during the day. Nice. I feel like introverts definitely have a different experience with people because the way that you guys get exhausted it's interesting to me because I see it as entertainment. So I don't internalize or feel annoyed. It actually makes me laugh. But yeah, exhaustion too is not a bad thing. Like you can just be like, let's say me and you are hanging out, right? And I appreciate and I appreciate it and I enjoy our time together. Um, and you don't necessarily, like uh, the conversation doesn't have to be like heavy or bad. Yeah. But then after I've spent my time with you, like I'm tapped. 
Like, that's it. Like, oh. I, if I don't see anyone else for the rest of the month, I'm like, that's okay. You gotta go just sit out and oh. couch somewhere. Yeah, I gotta go and like recharge. Like for and me, it could be it's really like a good. workout. Like you had a really good workout, yeah. and then you expended that energy, yeah. and now you need to go rest. Because it's more the one-on-one -on -one attention that's, that's draining for me, even though it's positive, but like if it's a whole group like this, um, if if I see conversations taken off, then I'm like, oh, this is tight, because now I can sit back and just listen to that. And I, like, uh -huh. I'm not talking, so my energy's good, and I'm just kind of taking what you guys are saying, and I'm like, okay, cool. Kingsley, when you lived alone, are you, like, the reason why you felt depressed is because of isolation? That's just the daily feeling? I think so, maybe, possibly, because okay. it's like you don't really have anyone to talk to or, like, say how your day was or just to, like, Connect. Communicate, yeah, yeah. Because it is actually like embedded in our in our DNA that we have to connect with other people. Mm -hmm. like we just have to. That's why social isolation leads to so many health problems because that's not how we're programmed. We're not wired for that. You have roommates? Yeah. You don't get mad when they don't wash the dishes? I love washing dishes. Oh. What? I do too, it's zen. You're a dream. <laughs> it's zen, bro. You could be my roommate. I yeah. just at the sink. I don't even use the dishwasher. Have you ever mowed a lawn too? Um, I have. I don't have one now, so. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I did. I like picking up dog shit. Ew. So does Taika. <laughs> Taika. With his hands. With his hands? No. No, just like daddy. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> like like father, like does. son. No, he goes up to it and he goes, and he touches it. I'm like, ew, stop it. <laughs> it's the worst. Nasty. But yeah, so they are saying here that uh, having social support, whether it comes from friends, family members, or your spouse, that it is strongly associated with better mental health and physical health. Yeah. So they're saying that studies suggest that it can lower stress levels, improve mood, encourage positive health behaviors, and discourage dam damaging ones. And it could also boost cardiovascular health and improve illness recovery rates. Oh yeah. People are just like balls of energy too. And then like when you're in a rut and you're thinking a certain way, and someone else has a different perspective or energy, they can snap you out of that. So regardless if you're introvert or extrovert, it doesn't matter, because if you're in a bad place mentally, uh, there's no opportunity for anyone to change your mind if you're by yourself. True. Yeah, but if you're with a group of people or even one or two, you know, that, that might see things differently, um, you might shorten that span of depression or whatever because someone gives you a different way to look at something. That's a good or point. Or they just might be happy and seeing your friend laugh or you just, for a minute, you get a break because you get to laugh about something together. Yeah, that's definitely true. Because yeah. for me, I find it as like, not necessarily like a healing thing. For me, it's more like a distraction thing where I'm like, oh, I'm feeling like shit right now, but I get to hang out with my friends. I can yeah. be distracted from feeling like shit. Right. So. Yeah, unless if you're at home, you probably feel like shit from when you wake up till you go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. And you'll be eating the apple crying, you'll be washing dishes crying, everything sucks. I'll just be in bed crying. You just be in crying. Really? You wake up, ah! I get out of bed. If yeah. I'm like, if I'm in, in like my heavy depression days, like I just want to crawl under the earth and not surface. That's what Nikki does. Yeah. She has to disappear. Damn. Mm -hmm. I like to go outside and laugh at people and come back because I feel better. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Healthy. You're like, I feel superior to you. Yeah. That's yeah. what I do. That's nice. Like, <laughs> you're fucking poor. <laughs> and you drive away. It, it kind yeah. of is like chicken soup for your soul. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do to feel better when you're feeling down? I go to the gym. I was just about to ask, do you guys actually have to engage with people or yeah. just be around? No, that's like, if I go to the that's gym, me. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm at the grocery store. I'm cool. I just need to see other the people. The outside world. Yeah, same here. Cause I'm a super big introvert. Mm -hmm. So all I really need is if just one time a day, if I can get in the presence of people, that's enough. And then for me, before it'd be at the gym where I just go there. I don't have to talk to people, but just feeling the energy of people or supermarket or mall or anything. Like, or even if I just get an oil change. Just, I can just feel the workers and whoever, and I can just go home and I'm good for the whole day. They just recharged me up already. The biggest surprise to me was finding out that Gio's introverted. And I remember you actually, we had a conversation about it, cause, cause Gio's like, I don't think, cause I said something about Gio. And then she's like, oh no, 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 I don't think you get me yet. And then she's like, I'm very introverted. And I was like, what? I have not been paying attention at all then. She's actually more introverted than I am. Right. And I, I felt like I'm a big introvert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't have to say anything about it because she's an introvert, okay? <laughs> I, well, I mean, I agree. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> what are the, like, the, um, like, what does it mean? You, it's your... Well, if you boil it down, <clears throat> introvert means that you get exhausted with 
people or like high stimulation, like situations that are social and then you need to recharge alone. And then extroverts, they thrive where there's a lot of people and then they charge that way. So it's like introverts need that space, that safe area where they can like recharge on their own and like relax and whatever. But like I'm an extrovert and I go crazy because it's not enough stimulation. Is that a forever thing? Like you're born an introvert forever? Or is it like you get to know. change? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know if it's learned or what, but. Because I definitely feel different than when I was younger. Yeah. I was for sure an extrovert when I was younger. Same. Now I feel more introverted. Beaten well, down by the world perhaps? Probably. <laughs> yeah, I think it depends on how you, how you charge. So it doesn't mean that, because not all extroverts are party animals. Mm -hmm. And not all introverts are homebodies. So, like, like Bart can come off as an extrovert because he's always out and he's always around people. And I'm always doing something. Yeah, but in reality, that exhausts him and he needs to charge in the house. So it depends on where you, like for example, like if you're at home all day, you're, you're sad or are you happy? Because mm. if I'm home all day, it drives me insane and I need to go out and I need to do something and I need me to be too. around I'm pretty people. content yeah. if I'm home all day. Especially because I get to see Casey and Isaac, so I'm around them, I'm not completely alone. So, I don't know. Yeah. It's all about that where you charge, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you feel a heightened level of emotion when you're with people versus being alone, then you're probably an extrovert. Dude, yeah. being around my family in like a big circle and everyone's just sitting there like depressed and I'm like there, you're I'm like, get me the up. fuck out. No, I'm like, this is, I, I wanna be an, an introvert right now. I wanna go somewhere else and just be alone. This yeah. feels weird. Cause I feel like I'm absorbing their shit energy mm -hmm. into my soul <laughs> and I'm like, oh, get the fuck off me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I thought you would laugh at them. Only poor people. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 like not my family. I feel sorry for them. Mm. Okay.